don't know why. Probably been starting too many games. That's not good. I'm getting low fraps on the faps. Fuck's sake. I'm gonna restart the game quickly, guys. Um, hopefully that's fine. Okay, so I just just I'm just restarting the game myself quickly because um you know I'm dealing with fraps and the file was already hitting 80 uh, gigabytes uh, just for half an hour I think and it's pretty ridiculous stuff. So um you know you guys hopefully are in the same thing. So I'm just gonna start the game. Don't worry about what I'm doing because I'm just following our normal procedure. Uh, start the game there. Hopefully I'll get a couple more frames now, which is what we're looking for here, which seems to be good. There you go, good stuff. So I'm going to attach, stop this bot quickly, stop bot, bot stop one. So you stop there, I'm going to attach cheat engine again, you should be good to go. Yes, keep the address, whatever. So we've got that information. Funny thing to see was that that address is the only one that remained the same. So I did test this myself before and that's why I told you guys to keep this one. But I mean, if you tested it yourself, you'll see that if you kept all the results, you'd have found out that only one of them is the valid one. Good for us, we've got the value, we don't really care about the rest now. Um, so what we're going to what we're gonna do now um, is we're going to force the game to shoot. Like I said earlier, you can use send input, whatever, we don't care about that. Uh, Depending on the game, you can use send import, or you can find a, a built-in function like this. Most likely, VAC has got its eyes on this kind of function and every other, so you really shouldn't use this online. And that's what makes this hack vulnerable to being busted. Otherwise, the whole trigger bot is only read memory, which is pretty safe overall. So what we're going to start off by doing is I'm going to click plus jump, right, plus jump here. Remember, if you've done the bunny hop, you this will be very straightforward. Oh shit, not plus jump, my bad. Let's do minus jump to reset that. So we're going to go for plus uh, attack. What attack should be fine. Boom. And as you can see, that our player shoots. Okay. We're going to look for five. Now, um, people, um, well, someone wasn't too happy about the last one. So I'll make I'll make this easier, actually. Let's not look for five. Let's look for... Um, oh, this will take a long time, actually. We're going to have to look for five, unfortunately. Guys, If you, the way I found this out initially was by search for a known initial value. Ah, oh, fuck's sake, I'll do it then. Um, I know initial value, this is just to make sure you guys get that beautiful result and you really know how to do this in your own game. So look for a known initial value. First guy, I hope this doesn't take too long, because I'm just guessing here. Oh, what the fuck are you doing? Fuck's sake, new scan, a known initial value. Alright, that's what we got. Now we're going to look for minus attack. So we got plus attack, minus attack. Fucking neighbors with the music. Alright, minus attack does that and we're going to look for changed value boom so values are changed look for um, unchanged value because we didn't do anything else now unchanged value make sure the value remains the same and now let's do plus attack again look for changed value so plus attack boom change value unchanged value now we're going to scan a couple of times just to get rid of all the extra crap so that's how we find out which one's plus jump, which one's minus jump. And then we go plus, uh, did we do plus last time? Let's look for changed value. Now, changed value. Once, and then unchanged value. A ton of times. And change value is fine. And then go for change value again. Oops, not decrease value, change value. And we're going to go plus attack again. Uh, change value. And unchanged value again, a ton of times down to 5,000 results which is pretty good um, what did we do last plus attack let's go for change value boom unchange value a ton of times get rid of all that stuff look for change value plus attack boom uh, minus attack alright that's it got a couple more plus attack again make sure the values changed Boom. Plus, so we're down to 2,000. Minus attack. Change again. Uh, we're going to go for unchange now. Get rid of anything that's coming up. Now, um, if you did the jump tutorial, you know that it's. Um, just keep scanning. If you did the jump tutorial, you know that it's um, 5 to force. Uh, so it's a plus command is a 5 and a minus is a 4. So I don't know if I want to go through these results. So can you sort them? 
you can't sort them. That's shit. Alright, um. So if I were to scan through these, I'd know that. So if I look for exact value, let's look for exact value quickly. Uh, do we do minus attack? Let's look for four. So I, I really hate to do this, guys, but um, that's how you you do it. So if I were to undo the scan, I'd scan through all this shit. Uh, the way I found it was by doing this over and over and over again. So I don't have to scan through another 15 times and waste your time. Uh, no, don't go back. I don't want to waste your time because it, it is ultimately a, a waste of time for me to do this over and over again. But hopefully you understand how to find it. Um, so uh, hopefully that makes, makes a bit of sense. Um, so 4 is for minus and 5 is for a plus. Uh, in Counter-Strike, again, if you're in another game, you'll have to use the unknown and you have to spend possibly, you know, half an hour doing it. But unfortunately, we'd have the time to do that right now because we all have ladies to go and make love to. Um, so the next step is adding this value here. And what does this store? This stores our... Um, yeah, our address in memory to, um, well, in the engine, I guess, to force our player to shoot. So if we try five there, just to make sure it works, boom, as you can see, it shoots. And then we do four, and we do five again, shoots. There you go. So that's our right address. And as you can see, it was a, it was a static address, so it won't change. So um, well, let's write force shoot here, and then put that address there. That's our address for forcing our player to shoot and that's what we use because once we found our enemy boom we call that address we set it to five and we shoot so um that is it for searching for stuff what we're going to do now is going to start coding so i'm going to kill counter strike for now and then we're going to get our code on and hopefully things will go well so we have all our, our information now which is great and uh hopefully we can make some beautiful stuff happen so let's get coding Okay, so here we go. So the next step now is to create our solution and hopefully uh, make a trigger bot. So I'm going to start Visual Studio here. Just going to go Visual Studio. <clears throat> and we're going to start off by doing a... Let's get my notes, put them there on the side. Uh, we're going to start off by doing a um, new project. Okay. Give a little check here. Great. So we're going to do a new project, and you want to go for Visual C++, empty project. Again, any C++ compiler would be great for this. It should be fine, but the only one I'm comfortable with is Visual Studio, so I'll be using Visual Studio for that. If you don't have Visual Studio 2010 or 2012 or 2008, which should all work just fine, I recommend you get one of the... Uh, um, search for something like uh, Visual C++ Express, and it's the free version online, so don't you don't have to pay for it, and you'll get the C++ version of... Visual Studio. So um, we've got that. I'm going to create an empty C++ empty project. I'm going to call, call mine Triggerbot uh, CSS YouTube. Obviously, you guys don't have to do YouTube part. Uh, and we're going to go OK. All right. So in the first video, which I always forget to mention like an idiot, uh, there should have been a hack process uh, download link which will be the header file that we use for this. I'll also put it in the description for this video. So um, unless you're checking it out on guided hacking, that makes sense. So I'll make sure to put it on both of these videos. So just go to the description and download the file. Um, and that should be all right. So first thing you want to do is um, go right click, uh, add new file. This will be our main.c++. That will be our main C++. So just write main there. And that will be what we use to run uh, our core part of the uh, trigger bot. So if I go to this one here, I'm just opening my code here quickly to get access to um, to get access to the to my header file. Uh, open file solution, existing item. Sorry, um, I'm just going to copy this quickly. So, <clears throat> but you guys will have the file available. So <clears throat> open whatever zip folder you have where the file is that so I'm going to add existing item here and if I go here I'm going to paste on my, my file here hack <coughs> excuse me my voice is going so go paste your hack process dot uh, h here and boom double click it and here it is so again I did say this um, last time but just to go over it for those of you that don't know this is a file that was posted by Nuptix so full uh, credits to him although I have seen this online quite a, in a, quite a few places but you know credit to him for posting it and that's the one I used um, yeah, I've actually just said everything that's on here by the looks of it. Um, 
But yeah, this is great, and all this does is it gets our basic handles sorted out, and we don't have to worry about that, and it um, it does our, our work for us. Even though in most games you don't have to set all these things, and you can do them quite nicely. If you do injection, most of the time you'll do a different approach, but this is for our external uh, part of the hack, uh, and that way we don't have to do all that grunt work that isn't fun and it just takes a load of time so hopefully if you want to go back there and look at the code read the code you'll know that we've done it before with a lot less code in different in different uh, games so just go into that and let's start writing the code so we're going to start off by doing the just check out my notes we're going to start off by doing the variables and then we'll move on to the functions that make beautiful things happen so Again, make sure you put your files in because they're all essential. So we're going to start off by going include, and this is something that I will not forget. Some of you guys asked me to make sure the text is big enough, and I am doing as requested, guys. So Windows dot H is what you want to add first because that gives us a couple of functions. So hopefully, and again, guys, feedback is always stuff that I look into and if there's anything I can do to improve the tutorials I'm more than willing to listen so if there's anything you want to add just leave a comment or PM me or whatever and I will read it for sure I may not get back to you uh, depends on what it is but uh, I would definitely read the um, the comment and we're gonna go include hack process dot h so double click that if you like makes our typing easier um, and then I'm just gonna do that zoom on my own as well I'm getting a bit blind should be wearing my glasses all right so let's do this constant uh, D word a quick thing that I may add actually I was thinking of doing these tutorials with because I got a new webcam and I thought it'd be good but then I thought this isn't a sex show so we shouldn't be using webcams but let me know what you guys think I thought it may help in the whole teaching process because that, that way I can um, talk you guys through and also you guys can all see how much of a pedophile I look like but um, let me know guys if you you think maybe adding a webcam would either help or not help the thing and I'll definitely look into perhaps doing that for the next tutorials um, so we're gonna go d word player base equals and if we go back to our data here what did we set our player base to be we set it to be um, um, let's just copy this value 53 we don't need the zero zero so again we don't need that in the hex number so that will be zero times just so the compiler knows or Visual Studio knows that it's a hex number um, and then we want to go define um, f6 key f f6 underscore key uh, zero times 75 now what this will be used for is um, f to make our life easier and allow us to close the hack when we want to I've never used it myself but I just wanted to give you guys that option so b shot now equals false and this will be to find out if you've just shot or not um, constant and uh, we use that to alternate again every most of the things that I'm saying now you, oh cool not cool ball <laughs> um, most of the things that I'm saying now you can read in the comments in the final solution so don't worry too much if you don't pick something up so constant d word which allows us to store our address here dw attack and this is what we will use to force our um, to force the the shooting so we go to that address force shoot and it's is it was it an engine or a client or deal? I was sure it was engine. No, that one's engine. Never mind. So store that value. DW attack equals zero times. Boom. Okay, and that's what we use. We write five to this, and and there you go. What have I done wrong? Oh, not bool. It's a D word. All right. So done that, and then we go. It's a constant as well. So let's make sure we add that. We. It's not a must, but you know, just do it. Make your life easier. So copy that again, and go uh, DW team offset equals 0 times 98 now if you were here for the bunny hop tutorial this would make total sense to you and maybe it still makes sense to you anyway but that basically tells us uh, how far away the how, how do we know which team are we currently on and that's our offset for that um, so we know that 0 times 98 from the uh, entity base is uh, what team is that player on okay um, and then we've added those and we go int int I shoot equals I is obviously for integer for those of you that tend to program in um, more relaxed languages I uh, underscore don't shoot also guys um, a little bit of side talk here but 
I've got quite a few things coming up and I've got a lot of theory vid videos that I'll be doing so those of you that like to know the background of, of things they will like that. I've also got some videos where I'll talk about um, some of my university stuff because I know some of you guys are interested in that and for those of you that were wondering last time what my job is I am a web developer um, you know I'm just starting off after uni and uh, it's a pretty nice job uh, even though web development is really something I love too much but it's a pretty nice job and um, I get to do everything most things that I enjoy which is programming um, and a little bit of scripting which I do not love but I do anyway but I'll tell you guys about all about that you know hopefully soon enough because uh, you guys tend to like the uh, the um, not vlog but kind of um, talking about random stuff videos most of you anyway we're pretty cool about that um, so I don't shoot and this will be so we can say I shoot boom we write we write that variable um, and it runs a five into that so that we force a shoot and obviously um, four we'll we run I don't shoot to disable it so we can enable it again and obviously we need to set this as variables as we did for the bunny hop so that it can be written to memory we can't just put the number five or four in there uh, although in if you had a DLL you could easily do that with no problems whatsoever and you don't have to declare a variable so again a DLL will give you a beauty of speed at the risk of 